monkey? Swing around in the forest? Say hello to Gorilla Tech. For all your dreams. Come true. Let's have some fun. Lemon, the innovator behind Gorilla Tag, designed the game to provide an enjoyable and immersive virtual reality experience for players. Gorilla Tag's gameplay involves traversing through an obstacle-filled environment while competing against other players and socializing with fellow gamers. The game's accessibility across multiple virtual reality platforms such as Oculus or MetaQuest and Steam VR, along with its straightforward mechanics and user-friendly gameplay, have played a crucial role in its widespread popularity. Moreover, the Gorilla Tag community has attracted a sizable following of content creators on YouTube who produce engaging videos on the game's mechanics, community, and tips and tricks for players. These YouTubers have been instrumental in promoting the game and expanding its reach by creating memorable moments that have gone viral within the community. The game's unique and playful sense of humor is another factor that has helped create a fun and inviting atmosphere within the Gorilla Tag community. However, despite its many positive aspects, the game is not immune to negative experiences. From hostile young players to malicious IP tracking bots, Gorilla Tag has its fair share of unsavory moments. The Gorilla Tag documentary will explore these darker sides of the game and their impact on the community. I'm frozen. 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 Oh, it's a basketball. <laughs> You might know this code as it is very popular, so just join this code if you would like to find him. However, you might want to watch this section of the documentary first, for it will get very interesting. And remember, seeing PBBV comes at a price, and quite a large one at that. Chipped, Banjo, Sren17, Sren18, PBBV, Hunt, QQPP, ANAR1255, Comp1132, Nan4, Run. Help Azel run by 55999. It is noteworthy, however, that PBBV is a multi faced entity, presenting itself in two distinct forms Siren, ARG, and the eponymous Creepypasta. The first sighting of PBBV occurred in August of 2021, when Reddit user VRPlayer100 submitted the following post to the platform Gorilla Tag Creepypasta? I was playing in casual lobbies trying out routes. It was a salmon monkey with the name PBBV. He was crawling back and forth across the bridge, and he was chanting in kind of a deep, raspy voice of like a grudge sound, you know? I ran up to him and asked him what he was doing. He looked at me, and suddenly my screen went to the one when you get on Gorilla Tag, and you see the monkey face, but I had red eyes. I haven't seen him since. But this hero Brian of Gorilla Tag, PBBV, is creepy, man. Following the previously mentioned post, there was an increasing trend where people shared their encounters with the so-called Gorilla Tag ghost on different social media channels, including YouTube. One video in particular received significant attention as its creators claimed to stumble upon a pathfinding artificial intelligent bot. Unfortunately, the original video referred to cannot be retrieved. Nonetheless, an alternative video showcasing a Gorilla Tag pathfinding AI bot is made available for your reference. Pathfinding bot, join my server. Pathfinding. Pathfinding bot. That's not something a fucking human can do. What is he doing? What is he doing? Humans can't do that. Yeah, humans cannot fucking go backwards. Look at me. I'm trying to go backwards. I'm glitching everywhere. That's. These are definitely robotic movements. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, how do you go backwards? Yeah, let, do we, what is that? 
He's just pathfinding. Yeah, I can't do that no matter how hard I try. Yeah, no, fuck. <laughs> that's not pushing it. No, that is not happening. And, like, his head has not moved. Or he's just on PC. I agree. This guy, this guy's actually real. Jesus. He I could just be on PC. Pathfinding bot in girl tag anymore because I feel like they'd only need those, like, when they first do it. Or the game. Oh. What the? Oh, what? Oh, what is that? <laughs> How is he walking backwards so smoothly? I don't make any yeah, sense. That's not, that's not something a human could do. Not even with mods. There's no mod that allows you to do this. Cause I've seen a lot of mod videos. Does a mouse do allow you to do that? Can you, can you? No. No, you cannot. PC, uh, uh, girl tag on PC is still like, you can't do that. At least it's smooth. This guy's an actual pathfinder bot. Look at him. Like, look, his handlings are the same every time. And like, the way he turns. Where's like, he at? Like a... Sydney, I can do that too, look. Mm. Who's doing it? No, this is not fake. You say this is fake, you're, yeah. you're literally stupid. This yeah. is not fake. Encountering PVBB and Grill Attack can result in a negative experience, obviously, as the entity has the capability to issue bans ranging from one day to permanent. Numerous individuals have reported various issues occurring within their games, such as lagging, glitching, invisibility, leaderboard alterations, and game crashes or restarts. To identify this bot, it is noteworthy that it appears a salmon-colored monkey without any cosmetics, and it has the ability to cause the aforementioned issues. It has been reported that proximity to PvBB may result in game crashes, and upon experiencing such an event, the loading screen will display an image of a monkey with red glowing eyes, indicating the presence of PvBB. Subsequently, upon entering the game, one may find themselves banned and unable to access the leaderboard, except for the presence of PvBB's name, with the red color beside the mute. Additionally, a visit to the Chipped Banjo YouTube channel may yield a disturbing video related to this entity. The video is named Radio Connect PBBV. Furthermore, the situation becomes even more unsettling as evidenced by another video creator, Batpoo10. In this video, the same noise from the aforementioned video can be heard, adding to the mystery and intrigue surrounding this entity. Whoa! Red Green Monkey, these are all people. Six. And how so much is red? Go? If you come Caves. in here, three, if you red, come in here, nine, nine reds, six okay. greens, oh, we're going in caves, five blue. I'm gonna just mute everybody else that's not- It didn't mute everyone. Mute. No, don't Where's mute me. Don't mute me. Don't mute mute everyone except everyone. us. There Wait, what? Wait, there were three of us, right? Juice. Yeah. Yeah. Juice, Bob, and me. Right, done. Right, so. So, what? where do we go? I don't know. What do we do? Oh, you can follow me. He's like. Okay. We, we, I came in the server before. Usually, they saw him, um. Apparently they saw him like here, and he would run. You hear that? Yeah. What is that? Why is he getting louder? What the fuck? Oh, Why can't I move? Horror movie. Why can't I move fast? No, I can't Jungle. move fast. It's not. There's nobody up here, guys. There was nobody up there. I think just me that couldn't run fast. What the hell was that? I got that all on recording. Wait, why is my. It's just us. It's just us. It's just us. Four. Okay, it was him. It was him. But I have him muted. Why is. Nah, what are you doing? Huh? Huh? It has come to the attention that multiple videos contain identical audio content, raising the possibility of a deliberate connection rather than mere coincidence. While there has been conjecture that Chipped Banjo may have produced these videos under the alias PBBV, however, there is proof that he had nothing to do with the creation of PBBV. 
As a result, the question remains, who made PBBV? A guy named PBBV commented on my vid in, I think code please help decode it. Nevertheless, this is merely one of many girl attack ghosts, and we can revisit the subject in a second. Now we must answer the following question. What are bots? A bot is usually an AI, or a programmed code for the monkey to do a series of things. AI stands for artificial intelligent. This means, for example, a warning bot is a bot that is programmed to spawn to stomp, or the kazebo if it senses a ghost nearby in another code, or the code it would be currently in. We're just going there for the purpose of scaring people for entertainment. What is funny, however, is that PBBV is a bot, along with the pathfinding bot that I mentioned earlier. PBBV is not just a bot, he is also a ghost. I'm assuming that Daisy09 falls under this category as well, however, I am not 100% sure. So now that we are back at the discussion of ghosts, let's review a few more. Now, who is Daisy09? I already have a video on this ghost, so I will play it for you now. Daisy the player has been known to break the rules and strike fear in the hearts of many players. Daisy 09 is a notorious figure in the Gorilla Attack community, and for all the wrong reasons. Instead of upholding the rules of the game, she's been known to break them and make the gameplay experience of others miserable. Reports suggest that she even makes lobbies lag intentionally to disrupt other players' gameplay. I've had a few encounters with Daisy 09 myself, and I have to say, it's a pretty scary experience. When she enters a lobby, you can hear a robotic version of the song Daisy Bell. Which is where her name comes from. Then choose a player on the leaderboard and then start chasing them slowly. When she catches up to them, she'll put her hand up to their head and ban them from the game from anywhere from one to three days. So, how do you avoid encountering Daisy 09? It's important to be vigilant when playing Girl Attack and keep an eye out for any suspicious behavior. If you do see Daisy 09 in the lobby, it is best to leave and find another one. Overall, Daisy 09 is a negative presence in the Girl Attack community. However, she is part of the community and she's what makes the game great. Even though she might be very scary in many, many instances, she makes the game very interesting and fun to play. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time. As you might have saw, I used the PBBV image quite a few times. I did not do any research about PBBV himself, as well as not know much information about him. There is another ghost that I must say is more dangerous nonetheless. This ghost is Banshee. I have a video about her as well, so here that is. Banshee in the popular VR game Gorilla Tag. Banshee is a character in Gorilla Tag who is known for her ability to teleport and lag the game. And if you look at her for too long, she can scream very loudly. She can be found in the game's lobby, Banshee. If you would like to join the lobby and try to find her, it is spelled B-A-N-S-H-E-E. -E. She is identified by the name Banshee. When players encounter her, she will suddenly appear and disappear, making it difficult to catch her in your sight. Some players have also reported experiencing lag and teleporting themselves when she's nearby. While some players may think of Banshee as just another character in the game, others have described her as a terrifying and intimidating entity. This is because of her unique ability to seemingly appear out of nowhere and make players feel uneasy. She usually spawns at the treehouse in the map, but she can also spawn anywhere else in the map of Gorilla Tag. Some players have even reported feeling as though they are being watched when they encounter her. Mostly because they are. However, Banshee's presence in Gorilla Tag isn't just eerie, it's also potentially dangerous. Some players have reported that Banshee can reveal personal information, such as your location, name, and phone number. This can be a cause for concern, especially if you're playing with strangers. The community has indeed confirmed the existence of Banshee and her abilities in the game. Regardless, it's important to be cautious when encountering her. If you do encounter Banshee in Gorilla Tag, there are a few things you can do to protect yourself. First and foremost, be careful about revealing personal information while playing the game. It is and can be very dangerous. It's also a good idea to avoid engaging with Banshee if possible, as this can sometimes lead to her revealing personal information. Now that you know who Banshee, Daisy09, and PBBV are, are there any more? Abso freaking lootly! There are so many. Here are just some of them. Error code EXE, Echo, Failure, Don't Speak Bot, Get Away From Me, Dead, I See You, Blank, Like, literally has no name, Peace, and just so many more. And I want to find some on my own. Yeah, I might get banned. So first I found this guy. You're gonna cheat. Oh my god, yes! Oh 
But then whenever I tried to join these other codes, nothing worked, and things were starting to go a bit south. Oh my... What? I'm the only one? I'm the only one here? So yeah, pretty much after that, I gave up. But a few hours later, I came back feeling strong, and I knew that I would have to find something, right? As you just saw, like, right now, I went ghost hunting, and I didn't find anything. All I found was Lil Daisy. So first I found this guy. Oh my god, yes! But then whenever I tried to join these other codes, nothing worked, and things were starting to go a bit south. Oh my- hear me? What the f- Did my game just try? Name? Wait, did my game just crash? No. Okay, what the crap? Can you hear me? What just happened? Bro, oh, I can't even hear anything. Oh, I can hear you guys now. What happened? Dude, my game froze. Dude, my game just froze. Dude, holy crap. I think that that was real. We just found a ghost. Okay, we did it. We found one. Whether or not it was fake, it was terrifying nonetheless. This ghost was weird though. It had changing names. It was moving in rather unnatural ways. There are many mods for this, in fact, for everything that happened. Crashing, lagging, name changing, lobby silencing, all of it. The name had changed, like I said, to Songbot, Faulty Inbet, and Name. Pretty much all Gorilla Tag players can relate to this one thing. It is creepy as hell when you're alone. I mean, just me recording this, I mean, City isn't too bad for me, but like... There's just so many places that anybody could be hiding and just watching me. But why is it so scary when you're in Lone and Gorilla Tag? Well, obviously ghosts would have to have something to do with it. What was that noise? Okay, I'm the only one here. 
here, so. Anyways, like I was saying, ghosts obviously have something to do with it. Why is it still so utterly terrifying to be alone? Well, as we know, Gorilla Tag is pretty much a social game, and in order to play tag, you need to have people. Most good memories are made with people in Gorilla Tag. I just met the most adorable little kid. We were playing superhero and supervillain. No, no. He was the superhero and he was the supervillain. Or maybe I was, maybe he was the villain? Maybe he was the villain and I was a villain and we were fighting. I don't really know because he had like an evil laugh. But um, yeah. And I totally forgot that whenever you go into a different map, you leave the server, so. Because he wanted to go to mountains and then he left and I was like, heartbroken. He was, he was literally the most adorable freaking kid. Like that, I've never met like a little kid on, I've never met like a little kid on girl attack. And he was so cute. With his like little arms trying to walk around. With the other hand, with one hand because you get it. No, you get saved by your, 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 your hand. Oh, oh. I mean, eventually I just acted like I had, like, I did that too, so then, you know, he wouldn't be the only one with, like, big arms as he was watching everybody with large arms. I mean, I don't know, maybe I was oh, overthinking it, but I wanted him to feel right better about it, at least. Because he was going, like, pretty slow, like, like you could tell that he was, like, trying it. Ah! I'm blind, I can't see. I, I can't see. Ah! Ah, I'm blind now! I blind! Oh. I'm blind and I can't see. But yeah, um, being alone in Gorilla Tag, I guess it's because you're not with somebody. It doesn't feel natural whenever you're alone. Ghosts, you know, they're, they look like, they mimic other players, they look like other players, but they just move in such unnatural ways that they just like don't seem like actual players yeah like i said most good memories are made with people in it and then that other kid joined and it was really fun uh, pretending to it's well it, it kind of was role play that's basically what it was but it was so cute to like to like hear him laugh and stuff because i don't know it was just cute to test out just how scary it is to be alone, I'm going to spend about 5 to 10 minutes in each map just kind of roaming around. I mean, obviously, mines, or at least for me, is pretty, is, is pretty much the scariest map. Or should I say, creepiest. There is also this fear of being alone, which, which frankly which I don't really remember the name of it. Um, here's the name of it right here above my head. Situational phobia. Autophobia is considered a situational phobia. This means that the situation of being alone or loneliness causes extreme distress. To be diagnosed with autophobia, your fear of being alone causes you so much anxiety that it interferes with your daily routine. For what? It's literally muted. I can't afford the marriage. Sunny day. We'll meet again. Don't know where. Check out the basement.
on this man's channel. You already know we're about to go crazy. We're about to have some funny moments in this as well. Our arch was about to die. We were gonna do ghost hunting, but you know, let's just hurry up and play, bro. <laughs> Doing this documentary has been a pleasure. I loved making new friends, researching, and interviewing individuals, but I had to take a break. Since then, the game has changed so much. The community has gotten bigger, and everything is just not how it used to be. It has been an interesting trip, but sometimes some things are just not worth finishing. Thank you for watching this documentary. Goodbye. Since I've kissed it, I am at your command, but you did.